think we've all had the experience at one time or another. Either you're on vacation or maybe you're just enjoying a, a nice Sabbath afternoon with your family. Maybe you're at a park or maybe you're at home. And then all of a sudden, the phone call comes or the text message or a knock at the door. Somebody needs you and it's urgent. What do you do? Do you go on with your Sabbath time and, and let that person wait? Or do you address that need right then and there? I think in the Gospels we have some stories that, that tell both sides of that story. There are stories we have of how Jesus would, would go away to a deserted place. He didn't address everyone's need before he went. He just went when he needed to go. He would go to the desert or he would go up to a mountaintop. He would go by himself. He would pray. And we also have examples of Jesus meeting people in their place of need, even on the Sabbath. People would come to him and they would ask for healing. They would ask him to, to hear them, to address their need, and, and he would. He would call them brother or sister and he would heal them and send them on their way. And we know that Jesus was a good Jew of his time and so Sabbath was important to him. And so I have to think that even after he encountered those people, he would go back to his Sabbath with his friends and, and let that experience be a part of his Sabbath. But it's not that easy. What do we do when we have had someone come to us and need something from us, and then that emotional stuff still hangs around? It's still lurking. It's, it's like a, something that, that continues to nag at us emotionally. So what do we do? How do we let it go so that we can give ourselves back to this experience of Sabbath? I don't know where I picked up this idea, but it's kind of a prayer practice and it works for me and maybe it'll work for you too. There are times when I have preached a sermon and it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. I didn't say something the way I should have or I left something out that was important and I just can't let go of it emotionally. And maybe you have that experience during a, a Sabbath when you are interrupted and that whatever that interruption is just keeps keeps hanging around. So I imagine that that experience, that interruption is a kite or maybe a balloon. And, and I imagine that I'm holding on to that thing and I'm holding it in my hands and I just gradually let it out. I imagine myself doing this and preparing to let it go. Because part of what Sabbath is, is an acknowledgement that the world goes on without us and we don't need to hold on to everything. We can let it go and trust that God will take that situation, that imperfection, that thing that we did that we shouldn't have or that thing that's still nagging at us and just transform it and use it and that we can let that thing go. And sometimes we have to do that again and again. Letting go is not easy. But if we want to give ourselves to the experience of Sabbath and being present to the people around us, and if we want to really embrace this idea that we are not indispensable to the running of the world, that the world goes on without us, sometimes we just need to let go.